snow fish and, and ski. Nobody's hobby is scraping windshields. <laughs> so we have the perfect solution. And I'm not the only one who thinks this is a brilliant idea. We launched this in November. Mm -hmm. November, mm -hmm. 240,000 people have picked it up since. That's a record breaker. And by the way, the same model of FrostGuard that we brought to you last year turned out to be the single best selling item in QVC history in of terms of units sold. Yep. yep. Scott yeah, Hunt, we're over, welcome back, we're over my two million now total, which is insane. You know, what I mean? uh, and it's like, a small family-owned business out of Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee yeah, they're and, wonderful. This is Scotty. That's my hey, buddy. So Scott good Hunt. to see you guys. And you know what the thing is? It's it's. I think it's been so popular because it's so simple. It's yeah. obvious. No, but everyone loves snow. Likes the look of it. Nobody likes the look of it on their windshield. So <laughs> instead of scraping and swearing and screaming and busting right. up your knuckles, how about all you do? You come out in the morning when that ice and snow because you put this on the night before. In fact. Make it a habit to put it on every night every in the winter night. so you don't get caught off guard. And then you come out and you check this out, Dan. Your windshield's ready to go, your car's ready to go when you're ready to go. Uh, and I've seen competitors. I've seen knockoffs. They're mm. not as well built. Not even close. There, there are all kinds of wonderful little security things that are built into it. This flap down here at the bottom covers up your windshield wiper blades so that you don't have to worry about them. And for most cars, trucks, SUVs, covers up that vent that's part of your defroster so that when you turn on the, the, the snow heat, on the, yeah, you don't get yeah, snow yeah. on the inside right. of your vehicle. Right. We still have lots of colors that yep. are available. Let's uh, go through those. Yeah, I'll run you through them here real quick. You've got, uh, on my right here is the Snow Leopard. Okay. okay. My personal favorite, believe it or not, is the tinsel. It's a fuchsia color. It's absolutely it's gorgeous. Pretty. Camo, popular for the guys and the gals. Snowflake, new and exclusive this year. Absolutely beautiful and popular. Black is obviously basic. You got three basic colors right here: the crimson red, the deep blue, and then you've got the mosaic, Some, which I, or the Nordic. I mean, which is like a, a, sweater. a holiday sweater for your car. Yeah, which for is your fantastic. car. Yeah, yeah I love the, it. the value on this thing is amazing because the company that manufactured it, they normally sell them for considerably more. Now we are also giving you the mirror covers. And the mirror covers are there so that you don't have to scrape mirrors as well. And they're just these wonderful little cinches that go over like so. But it's the way in which this is all built. These straps keep it permanently locked into place. There's a little uh, bar that goes inside of your door and Scott can tug on this thing. It yeah. is not coming off. The yeah. straps are bigger than ever before. That's right. And they fit, I was going to say virtually every vehicle. Let me change that. Yeah. They fit every vehicle. They do. There are two sizes. Yep. Let's run through that. Okay. And then let's show them how indestructible this thing yeah. is. Yeah. So if you have a sedan, a compact, all the way up to like a small SUV, like a Honda CRV, you're going to get the standard. Okay. Proper fits a proper function. You go from a Jeep Grand Cherokee, Toyota 4Runner, all the way up to the big boys, the pickup trucks. Go, no, go ahead and get yourself the XL. You want that extra coverage for the same price. So it proper fits, proper function, go ahead and order correctly. Now, again, if you have like an F250 or the 350, you may have a tiny little bit of gap on just this edge of the windshield. Uh, that's not line of sight. It's still doing its job. Yeah, the, the viewable area is completely clear and you're good to go. You know, you hit the nail on the head earlier. Don't be fooled by the imitators and the knockoffs. This right. is the original. This works the best because it's made the best. 600D polyester. So what you're thinking here, Dan, is military grade tent material, luggage material. But the real key to the technology is this backing here. This PVC backing is what prevents the ice, the snow, the slush from coming down through. And I'll, I'll show you why. Here is a... Uh, We've got blotter uh, paper. Yeah, well, tell you, yeah, exactly, like construction paper covering a windshield, okay? So we put that exact same piece of construction paper on the top of the frost guard. Let's make what, a mess. What I'm gonna do here is make a mess. You're exactly right. I'm gonna let we'll, you make the yep. mess, because that looks cold. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we'll start with some snow, and then what we'll do is we'll go and we'll put some water. What you'll notice is two things. First of all, I'm pouring this water on. As I pour the water on, it beads up and runs off the front of the frost guard. That is exactly what you wanna see. It's repelling the water. It's not soaking in. Uh -huh. It's not going down to the windshield. But more importantly, what you'll see is this piece of construction paper is absolutely discolored from the from the moisture, right? right? So that means if even one flake, one drop, one piece of ice got through the frost guard, you would see it underneath, bone dry. Now one drop, you can't believe it. It's not nothing's there. What that means to you, Dan, is no your windshield's ready to go, car's ready to go. Scraping. When you're ready to go, no scraping no whatsoever. Scrape. Now the whole process, by the way, of installation, uh, thirty seconds at the most. Yep. Now for me, uh, I'm a little shorter than the average guy. <laughs> I'm shorter than most average women. 
I drive a pretty good sized pickup truck. Yeah. I cannot reach the center of my windshield. Most people can't. Even yeah. when I'm standing on the running boards. Now my wife, she's five foot four, mm -hmm. and she can't reach the That's middle right. of the windshield. That's right. So and even why on a make it tough on yourself? Even on a sedan, even if you reach across, you would get the snow or the salt all, all over, over your you. nice outfit. Yep. You're getting ready to go to work. And that's upsetting, because yeah, yeah. sometimes I'll spend seven, eight dollars on a good that's pair of right, glasses. That's right, yeah, <laughs> You that's, don't want to ruin that. Me. But remember earlier on, too, the other thing that we hear a lot about is what prevents us from kind of walking away when you're not there? R right. Well, no, there, this does. I mean, it's not going anywhere. In, in the driver's side, there is a reinforced nylon rod, and you literally close it in the door and then it is secure. Yeah, and so I can tug on this as hard as I want, and I enjoy a nice cheeseburger now and then every day, <laughs> and uh, the, guess what? This is not going anywhere. The car is moving before the frost guard's moving. Right, right. So it means it's working for you while you're gone, waiting for you when you get back. The fit fast system with all these different loops means exactly what you said before. It's going to fit in any car, truck, or SUV. And then the big story too, here's the windshield wiper covers. You know, no more putting the windshield wiper vertical yeah. and snapping here, it here down. Here on the East Coast, yeah. all of us do this. At night, you take your, your windshield wipers and you invert them. You stick them away from the windshield. But ice still forms on them. And then when you slap it back down, it yeah. breaks the actual rubber inside of the, the windshield wiper. Yeah. Long about then, April, you're smearing rain <laughs> across your windshield. Like, yeah. What happened? Well, back in January, you broke the blade. Well, yeah, here's the so. best part. Even though you can't reach the middle of the windshield to scrape, with this thing, you just kind of take it off and, and give it a little toss. That's right. You put it, and then you come over to the other side and remove it. But now you're back on the road. Now, you will still have ice or snow on your side windows, but hey, I can reach those. Yeah. So look how simple this is. And it truly, truly does the job. Get into the habit of telling the person who receives it as a gift, use it every single night yep. or every day at the office because we had just enough frost on the ground the other day where I would have come out to my truck and I would have found frost on the windshield and it would have taken 20 minutes for that defroster to get that job done. Oh, you've been scraping, and, and you come in early in the morning most yeah, mornings. You get up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and that's not the first thing you want to be greeted with. I mean, it ruins your day. <laughs> you, the kids are late yes, to school. Does. You miss your morning cup of coffee. That's the difference in those things being good and bad, and this works well when you really need it to because that's when you're miserable. You want to give a gift to somebody that they will really appreciate? Yeah. Put them in a position where they don't have to scrape the windshield. Now, again, we've got our snow leopard. We've got our winter tinsel camo. Here's our snow pattern. We've got the solids of red, blue, and also black. And then you're referring to this one as? Well, uh, the Nordic, and that's the, the holiday Nordic. sweater for your car. Yeah, that's absolutely. the holiday sweater yeah. for your car. Thank you, know you what, my this friend. This is a great gift. People love you for it. It just works, and it works uh, well. Again, we've had, what, 240,000? Yeah, over 2.2 million total. Yeah, wow. it's crazy. crazy. All right, we're yeah, gonna talk about. see you, brother. I don't know what to do this late at night, I'll be honest. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I wanna talk about practical presence. Uh, maybe I'm weird. Okay, I'm weird. I don't mind ironing at 